Hello YouTube, this is Eli, the OBD Tech. I'm here working on a 2006 Mazda 6. This video is going to be a pre-diagnosis. I actually found the, the cost of this code, a P0661, Antique Manifold Tuning Valve Control Circuit Low Bank 1. This is basically a solenoid that controls the, the vacuum on this valve, on this Antique Manifold Valve. Uh, the customer complains that uh, at moments the vehicle runs rough to a point where it, you know that it where it almost wants to pretty much uh, die all right so on this video on this pre-diagnosis you know i'm going to show you guys the the steps i took to find this problem i'm going to show you guys the voltage checks and the ohm checks i'm going to compare a good one versus a bad one and show you guys the specs of a good one all right guys so like um the next step is to show you guys these voltage checks and his ohm checks all right guys all right guys so um, i'm here under the hood i'm um, here where the uh intake manifold tuning valve is located the solenoid which is this one here this is our our faulty solenoid that's causing this p0661 code uh this one has a uh two wires a white one which is our our 12 volt feed and then our green with red which is our control feed, uh, our control wire. Um, th this circuit is considered to be a, a, a ground side switch. So the next thing I'm gonna do, you know, I'm gonna show you guys some voltage checks. Compare this good, uh, this bad solenoid to this uh, good working solenoid. All right, so I'm gonna, you know, so I'm gonna set it up and then show you guys the the, you know, uh, the voltage checks between this good one and the bad one. All right, guys. All right, guys. You know, so I'm here um, back probing the white wire first this white wire should give us a uh, 12 volts from the battery so you know and this is my voltmeter so I'm gonna touch the you know the this pin that's being back up on the white wire and then watch our, our our voltage check so this one is 12.37 which is our our battery voltage and then the next one I'm gonna do is the the green with red and this um, this wire is considered to be our control wire, which is computer actually controls this this uh, circuit by grounding this uh, green with red wire. And this um, th these voltage checks sh should be done with the key on engine off. So this wire should should read actually 12 volts, but since this this uh, cylinder is uh, is a is an open circuit, it's going to read. Uh, pretty much almost zero volts so let's uh you know tap this this uh back probing pin and let's watch the voltage it's currently showing about 0 0.22 volts like i said you know this uh, this solenoid is it has an open circuit which is not you know reading our uh, our usual 12 volts with the key on engine off so the next step you know i'm going to do you know i'm going to uh check this voltage with this uh good known um solenoid and compare these voltages all right. All right, guys. So you know, so I'm here. Uh, I'm doing this. Uh, this uh, good known solenoid. Well, you know, I'm not really uh, sure about this. Um, this solenoid. You know, the name of uh, of it. But this is our our manifold tuning control uh, solenoid valve. But you know, it's you know, it's pretty much the same function as the other solenoid. So I'm actually back, uh, back probing the uh, the white wire, which is our our, tw our 12 volt feed from the computer. And this is our actually it's reading 12.37 uh the same as the other solenoid so now you know i'm gonna back probe the the control wire which is our blue with uh it's either red or orange stripe wire and this one's gonna actually read 12 volts like i said you know this is a a ground side switch uh circuit when it's a uh, ground side our you know both our both of our wires should read 12 volts each so next you know i'm gonna you know back probe this uh blue with uh red or orange uh stripe uh color and this should give us approximately 12.34 volts and this is our our normal readings on the ground side switch with the key on en uh, en engine off so this is a good known uh solenoid for this vehicle which uh we already compared both solenoids on this one our control wire gave us zero volts and on this one it gives about 12 volts so when the computer actually controls this wire this reading should actually drop to zero volts 
uh, you know, once the computer controls uh, this circuit. So the next step, you know, I'm gonna do, you know, I'm gonna sh um, you know, show you guys the ohm readings on both solenoids and show you guys that on this solenoid, we have a, an open coil circuit. And on this one, there's actually a continuity. All right, so I'm gonna set it up and then show you guys. All right guys, so on this uh, step, you know, I'm actually showing you guys the, the ohm reading. Um, I'm actually back probing this solenoid. Like you see, you know, um, I have both the red and uh, black wire connected to the uh, to the terminals on the solenoid. And as you can see, our ohm reading is showing about 6.23 mega ohms, which is uh, way out of the limit. So the next one, you know, I'm going to show you guys the uh, the reading on the good known uh, solenoid on this ohm reading. So I'm going to back probe this uh, working solenoid and show you guys the difference and show you guys the actually the uh, the specs on a good known uh, solen uh, working solenoid so let me find this red wire I'm gonna hook it up I'm gonna back probe it make sure it's you know making a good contact so on this one we're actually re uh, getting about 33.8 ohms see like on the other one it was showing mega ohms which was uh, way out of the limit. So this 33.7.8 ohms is the normal ring for this uh, solenoid, for this uh, circuit. So I guess uh, the next step I'm gonna show you guys, you know, I'm gonna show you guys a a manual, uh, a manual method of uh, actually uh, energizing these solenoids to also check if these uh, cylinders are good so you know so i'm going to use this this uh this wire where you know i'm going to hook up the positive and the negative and then you know i'm going to touch these two ends uh to the terminals and see if this cylinder clicks if it clicks it means the the internal coils windings on this uh, cylinder are pretty good but if it doesn't click that means that this uh, this solenoid has an open circuit, which means the, the coils are pretty much open and, and is not making continuity from one terminal to the other one. So I'm gonna set it up and then show you guys this, this method. So you know, so I'm gonna compare this bad to this good one and show you guys that this solenoid will click and this one will not click. All right, guys. All right, guys. You know, so already you know, set it up. I have this this wires you know connected to a positive and negative battery and i you know and then you know i already have one uh, you know one connector you know connected to one of the terminals so the next step is to touch the other terminal and let's see if it clicks so i'm actually touching it and there's no click so that means this this is an open coil which is not allowing continuity from one terminal to the other one so the next step, you know, I'm gonna connect this one to the uh, good known one and perform the ten, uh, same test. And let's watch this one actually click. So here we go. So you can see this one's actually clicking and it's opening up the valve. All right guys, so these are actually the steps I took to, uh, to do a pre-diagnosis uh, pre on this vehicle. I did these steps and I concluded that the that the problem of this P0661 code is a faulty solenoid on this vehicle. All right, guys. So hopefully you guys like um, this video. Um, you know, does help you guys out there for any uh, users that have a Mazda 6 uh, 2006, or even I guess these uh, these vehicles are made from 2004 through 2008, perhaps. But this video should be the same for those uh, years. For, uh, for Mazda 6. All right, guys, so hopefully you guys like it and it helps. Subscribe if you like. All right. All right, YouTubers. So I'm here, you know, showing the uh, uh, the final results with the new uh, solenoid, which is right here. I'm going to show you the uh, ohm readings and show you that on the old one, there was uh, mega ohms. On this one, it's going to have about the same ohms as, the, as this uh, solenoid. So... I'll go ahead and show you guys.
as you can see it this one is showing about 32.7 ohms 0.6 on the other one it was showing about 33.7 which is also within specs all right guys all right youtubers this is an extra clip that i decided to add to this video i'm showing you the circuitry of this uh, variable intake air solenoid valve a two, two pin solenoid a and b um, the way that i determined that this is a ground side switch circuit is you know i follow the wire that doesn't go to the computer it goes to the main relay which is 12 volt source and the uh the other wire goes to, to the main computer which is pcm the pcm actually controls the ground so with the key on engine off the circuit should read on a and b approximately 12 volts but when the computer commands the circuit to energize pin b should actually drop to approximately zero volts and your pin actually your, your terminal a should stay approximately 12 volts and on a power side switch circuit it's actually the opposite with the key on engine off both terminals a and b should read approximately zero volts but when the computer commands the cylinder to energize pin b or terminal b should uh, actually jump to 12 volts and terminal a should stay approximately zero volts so on a power side switch the the wire that doesn't go to the computer it tends to actually go to ground and then the computer is the one that controls the, the 12 volt source that's on a power side switch all right guys